can enter the the session welcome to the session happy republic day to all of us today's session by safe city on yoga and wellness is an easy gentle workout meant for mobility and flexibility so dimple sofa here welcoming you to this class for your wellness so let's get started with a nice round of warm up put your hands on your shoulders keep your legs about shoulder width apart and just extend them up stretch stretch we need to warm up a body properly improve the blood circulation stretch and breathe reach up reach up reach up reach up inhale exhale inhale exhale two more one more now bring your hands here on your shoulders and rotate your arms back back 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 Eight. Now take it the other way. In, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Remember, if you're beginning out after a long time, or you just started with the yoga practice, you can skip any asanas that you're not comfortable that will follow, and take as many breaks as you want to. All right. Now let's change. Take both your hands up. Stretch them up. all the way and give me a side bend inhale here at the top exhale as you bend to the other side inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale at the top exhale on your side inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale and back keep breathing normally bring your hands down to your side extend them out in front of you now i'm going to turn sideways so you can see me stretch and pull back stretch and pull back so we up your upper back shoulders arms stretch and pull back stretch pull back stretch pull back stretch and pull back come back to the center and now rotate your arms back alternating sides all the way back one right one left one right one left gently pulling your arms back and now reverse the order bring it up and in keep those elbows soft in 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 bring your arms in 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 and in all right maintaining your stance which is about hip width apart we're going to take the next one a little turn from here mid drift turn to your right side stretch pull in inhale right here exhale as you rotate inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale to the center exhale as you stretch inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale. exhale and back to the center once again from here we're going to now focus on warming up your lower body so increase the stance so your legs are wider than your hips and you keep your toes slightly turned out here again make sure you don't lock your knees and whatever distance your personal flexibility allows maintain that all right now we're going to take a side stretch lunging side to side warming up so stretch right left 3 
eight, keep moving, right, left, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, turn your toes in and reduce the a bit. I'm going to turn sideways to show you the right posture. We're going to continue with the lower body stretch. You're going to give a little squat as in a shallow squat. Don't go right down, just stretch and focus on keeping your knees behind your toes. So your knees don't exceed your toes. Stretch. Extend and stretch back. Extend, pull 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 back. One more and straighten up. Now we're going to focus on ankles, your calves and your ankles. So keep your legs back again, about hip width apart. And we're going to start with heel lifts. Press your heels up, press them down. Heels up, press them down. Up and down, up and down. Stretch, get on your toes, press them down on your toes, press them down on your toes, press them down. Now we're gonna continue with these heel lifts. Turning your toes slightly out. So you're making sure your ankles are properly warmed up. Lift up your heels, press them down. Heels up, press down. Heels up, press down. Heels up, press down. Up and down. All right, now. We are going to continue with a little more round of stretches, a warm up stretch. So, you want to place your hands on your thighs. Once again, you can see me from this angle. So, you can follow better. Put your hands on your thighs, press your hips forward. So, you're basically bending forward from your hips and arch your back, curl up the cat cow a little faster. So this is a warm up. Hence, we move a little faster on the cat cow. Arch and curl back. Arch out, curl back. Arch out, curl back. Arch out, curl back. Arch out and curl back. All right. So we warmed up. We are now going to begin the easy, gentle, peaceful yoga flow, focusing on mobility and flexibility. So this is how we're going to structure this. You're going to have the first round with dynamic moves and followed by static. So basically, in the first round, there will be movement of the same asana followed by a static round. Okay, so this is your first one. And once again, for those who have joined in later, Reminding you, if you're beginning out or recovering, make sure you're going to take each asana slowly, skipping any asana that you think you're not comfortable with. All right, so let's begin. Your first one will be your Thalasana dynamic round. Keep your legs hip width apart, back straight, palms up, open. And now slowly, we're going to get on our toes, stretch, and now slowly let this flow and just sum out the same, some more of the same. Stretch, lengthen up on your toes and press your arms down again. On your toes, stretch, press down. Up, extend, stretch your sides, get on your toes and press down. Repeat, stretch. On your toes, press down. One more, stretch and down. So this was a dynamic round. Now we're gonna stay in the same position, Atalasan. Okay, 
Raise your hands, lift up your heels, extend, focus on any one point in front of you, maximize the stretch, hold. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. And now release, bring those hands down in. For the next one, you're going to extend your leg behind. So I'm going to show you the side way. Same way, keep your legs about a bit apart. You're going to take your right leg back, extend your arms out in front of you and give a little torso turn. So go behind the swing, up, come back. Take your left leg back, arms extended, and you turn your torso the opposite side. In and back. Let's repeat this. Dynamic round stretch, extend, turn, twist your torso to the left side, extend, come back. Left leg, slowly, turn, twist. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale, exhale, and back. Repeat, right, turn, twist, and back. Left, turn, twist, and back. All right. Now we're going to hold this for a static practice. So extend the same way. Lengthen. Take your time. Open up your hips a bit. Again, reminding you to make a movement that is comfortable, not too strenuous, and stay within your personal range of flexibility. So stretch, extend your arms out. Now slowly turn, twist your torso the other side and hold. Breathe. So I'll show it this way. Okay. Up, stretch, turn, twist. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come back to the center. Now let's take the other side. All right. So you take your left leg back, stretch, extend those arms. Now rotate your torso to the other side. Stretch, breathe, 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 inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and now back to the center, in together, and up. Let's move on to your next one. So why? Then you stand for this one, keeping your legs wider than your hips. Now, on your right side, I want you to turn your toes, right toes out to the right side. Right toes pointing to the right side. And lunge with your right leg, left toes straight. Okay, so let's start the dynamic round of your reverse warrior. Press back. And rotate straight up. And let's repeat and continue with the dynamic round. Stretch and up. And up. Again, stretch back. Lengthen up. Press back. Let's repeat, stretch, and press back, up, stretch back, and straighten up, lean back, side stretch, and now we can hold the same for a static round. So make sure your knees are not exceeding your toes. Get into a side lunge. Extend your arm out. 
Now reverse and hold the stretch. Take it back and hold. Breathe, stretch from here. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Stretch, stretch. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. And up. Okay, so now let's side. In to your side. Stretch and let's take the diagonal down. Extend slowly. Now remember, left toes pointing out to the left side, right toes pointing straight, a small line. Extend, push back and to a reverse forward here. Stretch and lengthen up. So again, back, press back. And up again, press press back and up, press back, stretch back, back and up, breathe in, stretch. And release. So now we're going to take the static pull on this one. Maximize your personal stretch as in stretch only to the point where you feel a good stretch, not something that's hurting. So that's your maximum flexibility. Hold it there. And breathe. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Come back to the center. Okay. In. Now let's take the next one, keeping your legs still wider. Now, like I said, if some asins, we need to avoid, if you have some limitations of knee issues, you can completely skip the asanas or just do them standing, okay? Like this one, you have got to keep your legs a little wider than your hips. You're going to go for the yoga squat, extend your arms up straight, stretch your sides. We're going to check the dynamic round. We're going to squat down and press up. Squat down and press up. Squat down. Pull up. Squat down. And up. Down. And up. Squat. Press up. Squat. Push back your butt. Next 10. Down. And up. Press back, up, press back, and up. Okay, so now get ready. So stay right there. Extend your arms the same way. So let me show you once again from the side. We have to make sure your knees are not exceeding your toes. Push back and squat down. Hold. We're going to hold this. Breathe. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Hold this pose. Breathe, breathe. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. And release. Bring your feet in together. So we have one more standing asana. And we take a little short break. And then we're going to take all seated asanas. All right. So for this one, once again, keep your stance wider. You're simply going to give me the side bends of the asana. 
10, the right hand up, keep it close to your heel, stretch, inhale, exhale, bend down sideways, up, repeat, inhale, side, stretch, up, and press down. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale on the way up. Exhale and press down. Inhale. Exhale. Up again and press sideways. Up again. Press sideways. Up and side. Now we're going to hold this for a static round, stretch, bend, and breathe. Keep your hips square, okay? Don't turn around, keep them square, and stretch. Palms facing down, breathe, breathe, breathe. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, breathe. Breathe, you're gonna feel that stretch right here. And up, bring it back and down. Inhaling, exhaling. Now let's take the next side. Extend, left arm straight up. Inhale, bend down, exhale. Inhale, exhale, up. Press down, up, press down, stretch, inhale, exhale, lengthen up and bend down sideways, lengthen up, bend down sideways, lengthen up. Bend down. So now for your static crown, extend the same way, bend, and now stay right there. Breathe, breathe, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and up. All right, so now we're going to take all seated asana. Take a short break, sip some water if you want to. Wait, let's come right back.
Yes. Dimple, we can't hear you. Hi, Elsa. Yeah. We start this next round of seated asanas now. So you want to sit down. If you want to sit with your back against a chair or against a backrest, against the wall, you can do that. We're going to start with your seated asanas now. Keep your legs the same way together, about just hip width apart. Then you're going to extend your hands up straight, stretch. And now remember, when we fall forward or move forward, it's from your hips. So reach down for your toes. If not your toes, you can reach for your ankles. Lengthen up, stretch, and up. Here again, reminding you, depending on your personal range of flexibility, you can reach for your toes. If not, you can reach for your shin. Stretch, lengthen up, inhale, exhale, stretch, up, stretch, press down, stretch, Press down, stretch, lengthen up, and press down. So now we're going to stay here in the static run. I'm just going to turn around. So you keep your back straight. Like I said, you're going to move forward from your hips, not rounding your back. Okay, so for some of us, we may not be able to keep our knees straight. That's fine. You can keep them slightly folded. Now hinge forward from your hips or fold forward from your hips and reach forward, keeping your head between your hands, lengthening up your front, your upper torso, stretch, maximize the stretch. And once again, reminding you that those of you with issues of your back, you don't have to overstretch. You can skip this asana if you want to. Lengthen out, hold, breathe, breathe, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and release. Take your hands right up and back. So I'm going to turn around to show you the next one. For the next one, we're going to keep our legs widened out. And fold in your left leg. Stretch. And put the dynamic arm. Lengthening up your arm. Left arm. You're going to turn your back. Up. And pull back. Up. Stretch. And back. Up, stretch, and pull back. Once again, stretch, and pull back. So on the static round, you go to lengthen your arm once again, and slowly slide this hand down, stretch, and hold the stretch. Press down and hold, breathe, breathe, Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Hold the stretch. If you feel your arms are hurting or shoulder, you can even keep this hand right here. Just make sure you're bending from your side, lengthening out sideways, stretch, 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 and come back in. All right, now let's take the other side. So you fold in. The other leg, okay, right leg now, extend. Let's go for the dynamic round. Stretch, reach, and back. Stretch, reach, and pull back. Reach, and pull back. Reach, and pull back. Reach, and pull back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, 
And now let's take the static round. Back straight, extend the arm, up stretch. Inhale, lengthen up. Start exhaling as you bend to the side. And now we're holding the stretch right here. Breathing evenly. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Like I said, if you want to extend your hand right up, you can even keep your hand right here. But make sure you're stretching. You can rest it up over your head. Stretch, stretch your side. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. And back in place. For the next one, you're going to keep your legs apart. And this one again has to be folding forward from your hips. So I'll show you sideways again. So this is what we're doing, okay? So we're not rounding our back. We're gonna keep our back straight and hinge forward or fold forward from your hips. So basically you're gonna lengthen out, okay? Forward, put your palms right up here in front of you and walk your hands one at a time. So you're gonna walk it up now. This is my maximum. If you think you can't go beyond this, your body doesn't allow, it's absolutely fine. Just stay right here and give me the dynamic move, which is, just turn around and show you, you're gonna keep your arms this way. The dynamic round would have you pressing forward, hinging forward from your hips and lengthening up. You're gonna feel a nice stretch in your inner thighs. Press forward and up. Press forward and up. Press forward and up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. So. Now we're going to take the static round. You can start from the top once again. So stand, sit up tall and walk your hands out in front of you this way. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Okay, to maximize the stretch, you need to fold your arms. So you're folding forward from your hips or hinging forward from your hips. And with your chin parallel to the floor, you hold the stretch. You can always modify the stretch at any point and hold it behind and hinge forward, hold, breathe, breathe, holding the stretch, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And walk your hands behind. In, in, in together. Now bring your feet in together. And we're going to take the next one, which will have you sitting on your knees. Okay. So this one, if you're not comfortable sitting this way on your knees, you can sit cross leg. Okay. Cross leg and do this very same stretch. This one will have you taking, you can sit this way, back straight. You get a nice stretch here on your quadriceps as well. Now we're gonna take something for your upper body once again. So this is what we're doing, okay? Take your arms here, link them together, press them up and sit up. The dynamic crown, you can lengthen up and press back. Stretch your arms back, pull them up and release. Stretch, release. Stretch, release. Once more. Stretch, release. 
you're going to now hold the same one in a static pose. If you don't want to link your thumbs together, you can keep your arms up the side this way with your palms facing each other. All you do is take your arms as high as you can. If you can link your thumbs together, go ahead and do that stretch and pull back, hold, breathe, hold the stretch and breathe. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and release. Next, we are now going to take the needle and thread is running your right hand under your left and then left under your right. First, the dynamic round. So you're going to sit back this way on your knees. Keep your hands extended out first this way. Stretch. So this one is going to be a complete static round. Okay. So lengthen your body out this way. Head down between your hands. You can press your forehead gently down on the mat if you're comfortable. Or then you look straight in front of you. Don't arch your head up. Just make sure you either choose to look down in front or press your forehead down. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Inhale, exhale. Now from here, you're going to lift up your left hand and run it under your right arm. Stretch. You can even move forward a bit so your left shoulder is pressed on the ground. So let me turn around this way to show how you can maximize the stretch. This is only static rounds, okay? So stretch back. Take your arm and stretch, lengthen it out and hold, breathe, 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 and come back. And once again, stretching your arms in front of you, hold, breathe, forehead on the mat, or just inches away, looking in front. Now roll the other arm. Right hand under your left and stretch. Breathe, breathe, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You can move ahead so you can press your shoulder down on the mat. All right, come up. Now, the cat cow. So if you see, we're focusing a lot on back, shoulders, yeah? This is a seat that occupies maximum stress, physical and otherwise too, okay? Mental stress is also, the first thing that you experience is back pains, shoulder, neck pain. So you need to release them. And these are ideal stretches. So on this one, back again to your dynamic round, we're going to do the cat cow. Legs about hip width apart, hands shoulder width apart. You're going to arch out, inhaling through your nose. And as you round back, exhaling through your mouth. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Breathe in, breathe out and Let's change into your very 
last asana. So you want you to sit once again. If you don't want to sit cross leg, you can sit sideways. Keep your back straight and just take this what you call a hand symbol or mudra. You're going to press your index finger and your thumb. Your index finger pressed with your thumb, back straight. And if you're comfortable, close your eyes and focus on your breathing. So we inhale through our nose and exhale through our mouth. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Keep your entire focus on your breathing alone. Keep your spine erect. Keep your index finger up. Nail bed press with your thumb. And focus completely on your breathing. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Any thoughts that enter your mind? Just push them away and keep your entire focus on your inhalation and exhalation alone. Breathe. Breathe. All right. Slowly open your eyes. Thank you for joining me in today for this session by Safe City on yoga and wellness. I hope you enjoyed the session. And before we leave, I have an important announcement to make. Because of COVID restrictions, families have had inability to or inactivity, physical inactivity. We are coming up in the second week of Feb with a family fitness challenge. Just 20 minutes for on Fridays called the Fit Friday Family Challenge. So we'll keep you posted on that. Do join us in. Thank you. Thanks, Dimple. Thank you.